guys, this is Marvin from shopsadapage.com and a while ago I did a tutorial on how to revive an old netbook using an SSD and I would like to do a follow-up video on that to revive the old hard drive that we've replaced using this transcend enclosure kit. Let's get to it! So right here I have the old hard disk that we've replaced from our previous project. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll link it up here so you can check it out. So my plan is to be able to reuse it again and I'm going to use the Transcend SSD and HDD kit here. This is an all-in-one upgrade kit which has everything you need. It comes with a 2.5 inch enclosure, USB 3.0 cable, 7mm to 9.5mm spacer, screwdriver and screws. This uses USB 3.0 and is compatible with any 2.5 inch SATA SSD or HDD. So let's do a quick unboxing here. So inside we have the 2.5 inch enclosure itself as you can see. It has a nice smooth rubber outer protection that will also help with the grip. It also has a one touch backup button that also doubles as a reconnect button here. We have some paperwork, micro USB cable, screws and the 7mm to 9.5mm spacer. So now we're going to install the hard disk inside this enclosure so that we'll be able to use it again as an external storage. First, you just have to remove the outer rubber protection, revealing the main hard plastic enclosure right here. Open it up gently so you don't damage the clip-on locks that bind it together. There you go. So as you can see, we have here yet another protection. We have the rubber shock absorber here that will protect the drive from shock and vibration. We have inside it the SATA adapter with the one-touch button here. Installing the hard drive on this is quite easy. You just have to line it up and plug it in very carefully like so. You can also use the included 7mm to 9.5mm spacer so that the hard drive will fit very snugly inside the enclosure. To do that, just simply remove the adhesive tape cover and attach the spacer on the hard drive. Make sure to line it up correctly and don't block the SATA adapter. After that, you can now place the hard drive inside the rubber shock absorber. As you can see, it's very snugly and the spacer really helps to secure the hard drive inside tightly. Make sure you don't block the one touch button and the micro USB port right here. Now, we just have to pop back in the hard plastic enclosure. Make sure it fits perfectly, pop back in the cover and make sure the lock snap in place. Once done, we just need to secure it with screws. Right here we have the included screws. It also comes with a screwdriver but I prefer to use my favorite one right here. Once the screws are in place, we can just simply slide in the outer rubber enclosure like so and we're good to go. After that, I've reformatted the hard drive and transferred my raw files inside it as a backup. One way to take full advantage of this external enclosure and the one-touch backup feature is by installing the Transcend Elite software which can be downloaded from Transcend's website. Inside the software, we can create a backup. You can do that by clicking on New Task, create a name for your backup. You can also opt to include these options. Click Next and choose the files or folders that you want to backup. In this case, I would like to back up my raw files on my desktop. Next, click Browse and choose the destination folder where you want to back up your files. In this case, it would be a folder inside the external enclosure. Click Next and set up a schedule if you want. I'll just leave it at None because I want to manually back up my files. As you can see, we now have a backup task right here and I'm going to turn on the One Touch Backup feature. To initiate the backup, just simply push the One Touch button and it will automatically back up your files. Pretty neat feature. Inside the software, of course, you can restore your files, do encryption and decryption, sync files and backup your files to cloud storage such as Dropbox and Google Drive. Another cool use of the One Touch button is you can actually use it to reconnect your device after you safely remove it from Windows without disconnecting the cable. To do so, you just simply push the One Touch button and it will automatically reconnect the hard drive to your computer. And that's about it guys, I highly recommend getting the shockproof hard disk enclosure from Transcend instead of getting one of these cheap HDD enclosure. Because again, this is much more durable than this as you can see. The difference between the quality is night and day, and if your files are important to you, then you know what to do. There you have it guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article link on the description below. If you have any spare hard drive that you want to reuse and you want to grab this, you can get this from any of Transcend's partner store, link on the description below. Thanks again to Transcend for sending this in, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Thank you, have a great day.